In this tutorial, I'll show you how to add stylized eyebrows to characters in Blender. So here is a character sculpt which I recently sculpted, and I'll be showing you how to add some stylized eyebrows to the character. Now if you'd like to learn how to sculpt a stylized male character face in Blender, I recently released this tutorial on how to sculpt a stylized male face, so you can check out that tutorial with the link in the description, and you can also check out my Blender sculpting tutorial playlist to learn how to sculpt more things in Blender. So what I'll do is press Shift C just to center the 3D cursor. That way I can go to the add menu and I can add a plane and the plane will be added in the center of the scene. So I'll now move the plane over on the Y axis and I'll scale the plane way down and I'm also going to rotate the plane on the X axis by 90 degrees. So I'll now hit the tab key to go into edit mode and I'm going to move the plane over and this way the origin point is still in the very center but the plane is moved over here to the side. That way I can go to the modifiers and I can click on add modifier and I can add a mirror modifier so it mirrors it over on the x-axis. So I'll now scale the plane down even more and I'm going to stick the plane right there where the eyebrows are going to be. So I now want to snap this plane to the face. So I'll click on add modifier and I'm going to search for the shrink wrap modifier. Now here on the target I'll click on the eyedropper and I'm just going to choose the icosphere. So now it's going to be shrink wrapped to the face. Now we can't really see the mesh and that is because it doesn't have any thickness and so it's like shrink wrapping back here inside the face. So what I'll do is click on add modifier and I'm going to add the solidify modifier so we can now drag this thickness value out and that'll change the thickness of the plane so you can now see it's much thicker so it kind of looks like a cube now. So now I can select the two sides of the plane and I'll hit the E key to extrude and I can extrude it, extrude it again. And you can see even if I try to move it farther away from the face it's going to be shrink wrapped to the face. Now this doesn't look very high resolution right now so let's click on add modifier and I'm going to add the subdivision surface modifier to smooth it out so now you can see it looks much more smooth if I scroll down here I'm going to turn the subdivision surface values to 2 so the viewport and render levels both to 2 and if I go back to object mode I'll use the object context menu to shade it smooth and also let's go here to the materials and I'll add a new material and I'll just make this kind of like a brown color and also if I go down here to the viewport display I'm also just going to make this a brown color so it is a nice brown color in the viewport. So I can now extrude out the vertices here and I can just make the shape that I want for the eyebrows. Now if the eyebrows aren't exactly where you want to place them, then you can go here to the modifiers again and you can change the shrink wrap modifier offset. So on the snap mode here, you could also change this to above surface instead of on surface. So I'm going to change it to above surface and then you can change this offset here. So if the eyebrows are too far out or too far back, you can change that offset. Now what I'm going to do is turn the solidify thickness up so that it's much thicker but then it's kind of floating on top of the skin so I'm going to drag this offset and make it a negative value so that the eyebrows are going inside the face. You can also add some loop cuts in edit mode by pressing Control R and then you can left click and right click and then you can kind of drag this around if you want to add more resolution. You could also add a loop cut horizontally if you want to add a bit more detail. Now after you've created the eyebrows, if you want each eyebrow to be a different shape, then you can just apply the mirror modifier. So here on the mirror, click on the drop down and click on apply. So if I now go into edit mode, you can see both sides are geometry. So now I can kind of change this eyebrow, change the shape of it so that the eyebrows are different. So that is an easy method for creating stylized eyebrows on characters in Blender. So I hope you found the video helpful and thank you for watching. And if you'd like to learn how to sculpt a stylized male face, then you can check out this tutorial here, which I recently released on my channel. I'll have a link in the description to that tutorial. And you can also check out my Blender sculpting tutorial playlist if you'd like to learn more about sculpting in Blender. But I hope you found the video helpful and thank you for watching.